All right, folks, it's the WC man here with an instant classic video about LeBron James becoming the all-time leading scorer in NBA history, passing Kareem. I see the point total. I see the teammates in the background. It seemed like he was determined to get there, all right? In this video, all right, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I will be objective about LeBron James, okay? I will explain to people why basketball fans like me have had venom for this man basically his entire career almost, right? But also, before this video is over, I promise I will give him his roses, okay? But what I have to do in this video, and the reason why this video is so important to people like me, is that he's passing Kareem, all right? He is, he is legit the number one scorer in NBA history. When, when I saw his first dunk, when I saw him um, play um, at the, what, what was it called? The Verizon Center. Like, it was called the MCI Center at the time. When I seen him dunk the first time playing against the Wizards, I was like, look, this guy is just something different. I said it, I said it there when I was there that night. I saw him. First time he played the Wizards, I saw him, and I was like, Phew. I saw him dunk that ball, but the first time I was like, that's something different. And the guy has been the personification on court. Let me make sure let me make sure I say this. On court, the guy's work ethic is next to none. The guy he basically took the game from a physical standpoint to a completely different level. Um, I wouldn't be surprised or shocked. If Giannis, if he stays in, if he stays healthy, comes after this record at some point down the line because he has something similar to that, and you know it's just one of those things where through worth ethic, right? When when LeBron first came into the league, his jumper was garbage. This guy has been in the gym. He's perfected his jumper. He's perfected uh, the the methods of staying healthy, even though he's missed some, you know, a good portion of games. He probably could have could have gotten there earlier, but LeBron has put in the work. All right, he has put in the work from the basketball on court standpoint. You can't take that away from him, and he will get his roses in this video. And this is basically me giving it to him. All right, he deserves the accolades. And hats off to him. He's the, he's the leading scorer in all time history. All right, but what people have to understand is that I'm an objectivist. I'm not somebody that gets on YouTube and plays like they're like some type of damn uh, objectivist doing live streams and stuff. I'm not playing. I'm actually an objectivist from an off court standpoint. LeBron James is part of the reason why people like me kind of despise modern day NBA. Why I do not like Adam Silver. Why I do not like the uh, the direction that they take on on stances that they take. Rather it be putting Black Lives Matter on a on a damn basketball court, the the plight of Black people being um, exposed and, and and profited for in the NBA. I understand that the good portion of the league is Black. I know that there's different colors in the league. From a um, an activist standpoint, he is not Jordan. He is not none of the mid '90s stars. You know. A lot of, and he's not the only one that has just kind of come out and spoken on things in which it just kind of hurts their off-court persona. A lot of the stuff that LeBron has done, whether it be the super teams, whether it be um, you know the victimology, whether it be going out and calling uh, former presidents up out their name, like there's a lot of stuff that he's done off-court. All right. That to some people will say that it would probably kind of overshadows him being the all time scoring leader. Like, you know, but at the same time, like I said, I'm being objective. I'm being objective here. The game is where it is because of people like LeBron. And, you know, I have to I have to commend him for that. But at the same time I have to say, you know, this is a mixed bag for me, you know. I, like I just got, I, like, like I just got done saying, his work ethic is bar none. I don't think that any, there's not too many guys that work harder than LeBron. But the off-court persona, rather it be culturally, I don't know if y'all seen the recent House Party movie, these reboots. Space Jam was terrible. Like we have to be objective about LeBron. 
and how him transcending into the culture just has not worked and the game has suffered because of it you know this is not a video to tear him down this is a video to give him his roses but at the same time I have to be objective about LeBron James and like I said I've done videos about him explaining why he's not a role model I've done videos about him explaining why modern day NBA is in the peril to, to a specific degree because of LeBron James and players like him, all right? And I have to use this moment to not only spotlight this and give him his roses, like I said, you know, but I have to be objective and say that modern-day NBA is in the peril that it's in because of players like LeBron James, all right? You can agree, you can disagree, you can like it, dislike it, you can share it. I want LeBron to see it. I want him to see it. I want him I want him to see that I'm giving him his roses, but I'm also criticizing you for not keeping it basketball all of the time. But I'm just gonna make sure I do that. You know? And then some people can say that I could criticize Jordan back in the day. You know, I got I mean, you know, social media wasn't the way that it was back in the day. So, you know, to a specific degree, Jordan have to didn't have to deal with the things that LeBron did. All right. But he's gonna have to deal with it. And he's going to have to deal with it through people like me who, like I said, we, we, we love LeBron, but we also going to call him out on his stuff. So let me know how you guys feel about LeBron becoming an all-time leading scorer in the NBA. And do you agree with my objectivism about him? I mean, I'm pretty sure there's other people. There's a plenty of stuff about LeBron that I've left out. I, I brought up the biggest thing about him in the super teams and the, the cultural factor through movies, music. Um, the way the free agency works, it's all LeBron. All of this is on LeBron. He's influenced all of those things, and I really don't like it at all. All right, but he is the all sky. He is all time leading scorer, so we're gonna give him his roses in this video. It's the WC man, but another classic. Drop a like, drop a comment, share it, subscribe. I don't got a whole bunch of subscribers on this channel, and it's not about the damn money. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing it for the love of the game. I love you, we all love LeBron, we love Kareem, and we love the NBA. We just want to see it at its highest level, objectively speaking. Good night, guys.